What's up YouTube? This is Nick here and this will be the first video in my DIY weekend project. Today we will be creating a voice activated LED light system which you can also switch out the LED and the light for a relay to use for anything else to make it voice activated. But we will be using an Alexa, Arduino, and a Raspberry Pi and just for this case because I'm doing it at home and I'm just making it simple for you all I will be using a Windows computer. Um, I can show you how to do it for other stuff but for right now, just to show you it works and how to get started, this is what we're going to do. So let's get started to what you need. Okay, so we have our Raspberry Pi connected to our Arduino, which has an LED in it. Basically, what we're going to use is we're going to use the Echo to turn on the LED. We're going to start off with the Arduino IDE first. And basically, here is the script that we will be using. I named it LED Serial Basic. You can name it whatever you want, and you can also modify this to however you want. And it's just a simple script to sh um, show that this program works. So what we have here is we send the character in, I mean uppercase N, and we'll send the uh, um, character uppercase F. N causes the LED to turn on, F causes the LED to turn off. So I'm gonna upload this to the Arduino Uno. And once it's uploaded to the Arduino Uno, we're just going to open up the serial monitor and then from here I'm going to type in a capital N, LED turns on, and then do a capital F, LED turns off. And from there, from that part we are done, finished with our Arduino and we will move on to the next step. On this part we're going to be installing the necessary libraries in order to get everything to work correctly for the Pi and Alexa services as well as for the Arduino as well. So first we're going to start off with ngrok. ngrok is a service which allows you to make um, HTTP requests into HTTPS requests. So that is, uh, that is one of the necessities needed for working with Alexa in order to communicate from Alexa to the um, Raspberry Pi using Python. The request needs to be HTTPS, which ngrok does perfectly. Um, so you first you're going to run the sudo wget and this URL right here, and then a zip that, and that's that will install ngrok, and you'll be done with the first step. The next steps would be installing pip if you do not already have it. If you've already worked with Python in the past, more than likely you have pip, but it won't hurt trying to just run an app get install and see if that installs for you. If you're using Python, any Python version less than three, just use Python dash pip. And if you're using Python three, use Python three dash pip. Now, if you want, you can install both. It won't hurt to have both because Python 2.7 and Python 3.0 and higher uses two different uh, libraries for that. Next, you'll be installing Flask. And then after that, you may need to install the lib FFI dev. I had to install it on my Pi 3, but I'll just remove it for now. If you need to, just go and install it. Next, you'll need to install the Flask Ask. That is the library built just for getting Ingrok and then Ingrok working with the Raspberry, I mean, with Python in order to make your request from Alexa. And next, you'll need Pi Serial. This is needed in order to commu communicate with the USB COM port in order to um, use serial commands. To read and write to the Arduino. So after all that is installed, the install installation time usually takes around I'll say five to ten minutes depending on networks. If you have a fast network, you can probably have it done under five minutes. So the next step is getting Ingrok started. So we're going to go here to the terminal. I have I have SSH into my Pi. I've done it twice on two terminal windows. And first is we're going to get Ingrok started. This is a command that sudo dot forward slash ngrok space http space 5000. And this is the dynamic URL that I was given right here. And then on the other window, I'm going to start up the um, Python script. The Python script is located under the description in the YouTube video. And I'm not really sure if I will put in a zip file or just do a separate file in general. So depending on how I do that just that's where it's located in the YouTube video in the description and first what you need to do is move that to your Raspberry Pi you can um, copy that over by USB or if you have a uh, Raspberry Pi Zero you can use the command SCP from whatever folder it's in to that Pi so go from there and once it's on that machine you can do Python and whatever the file name is if you rename it or not and just press enter and from there, 
it should start up correctly. And as you can see, it is now running on localhost port 5000. So the communication between the Python script and Ingrok is HTTP, but when it comes from Amazon to Ingrok, it will be HTTPS, which is the necessity, the necessary protocol needed in order to get Alexa to communicate with your Raspberry Pi. So now we, now that we have Ingrok and the Python script running, we are done doing anything with the Raspberry Pi and Arduino. We are completely done. Everything else now will basically be done on the Amazon website. Part will be creating an Alexa skill, and if you have not already, if you have not already created a dev account, please go ahead and do that now. If you do, go ahead to the developer website for Amazon, and then the next step will be clicking the Alexa tab. So I already have an Amazon account, and I already have, as you can see, the skill right here. But I'm just going to walk you all through it. So I'm going to set up a new skill to show how it's done versus showing you when it's already working. So that way, anyone new who hasn't done it can follow along. And it should be simple copy and paste of what I do, and it should work correctly. So we're going to open up a new skill. And first, we're going to start off. The skill type will be Custom Interaction Model. Language will be English. The name. It's a fictional name, just something so you can just remember the name of the skill. It has nothing to do with what you will actually say to Alexa. So I'm just going to name this one YouTube Light Tutorial. Can't spell tutorial right now. <laughs> All right. The invoca invocation name, I already have one that's called Light. So I just call this mm, Lamp. Okay. So basically, when you say lamp, you will have to say whatever your invocation name is, you'll say Alexa, ask lamp, whatever the task is. So from this point, I'm using lamp. I'm going to click next. And our interaction schema, our interaction model is actually an intent schema that Amazon requires in order to run each command. This is part of the Python script. So if I open up that script right here, it's not the right one. All right, so the interaction model is what holds our inner intent schema. Our intent schema is basically, it's going to be each intent, which is a function inside of Python. So as you can see, the function for on is called light on. So that is the intent itself. It's almost like another function, except you're just calling it the function in Amazon as an intent. So what we're going to do right here is I've already have the schema in here on my notepad and I'm just going to copy and paste that into here just to make it faster than typing. And if there's any errors, you will get a red box. So if I just, let's say, put an extra comma in here, you get a red X on on the line that it has it so that's pretty cool and for the sample utterances this is this is what you will say and based on what you say is how amazon links the phrase that you say to the intent so the, here are the utterance the the sample the talking samples that i will be using so i'm just gonna copy and paste that into there and i'm gonna click save right now the model's being built So while that's saving, so what it means is if I say Alexa, ask lamp on, it's going to turn light on. If I say uh, Alexa, Alexa, ask lamp off, it's going to turn, it's going to invoke the light off intent, which is going to turn off the light. So now that that is done saving, we're going to click next. And from here, this is where we will set up the HTTPS for, for connecting to our Ingrox 
our ngrok service which will connect to the python the running python script so first we're going to um check the checkbox for or the radio button for https i'm in north america so i'm going to click the north america region and this box right here for some reason they didn't label it url but this is where the url goes so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to terminal and we're going to copy out the the protocol HTTPS and the URL with the HTTPS protocol. And we're going to go back and we're going to paste that in here. And then we're going to click save. Click next one more time. And then for the certificate, this one is from a subdomain at Ingrock. So we're just going to click this with the second one right here, the wildcard certificate from a certificate authority from a subdomain. Click save, click next. And from here, you can test it just to make sure your service is running and everything. So we're just going to say on. And as you can see, it says light turned on. And if you say off, light turned off. So what I'm going to do now is go here, make sure you don't have to touch anything else right here because from this point on, your service is up and running. Nothing else needs to be done. There's nothing else to save because it automatically saves. So you can go back, click Alexa, or go back to all skills, your choice. I'm just going to go to Alexa skill set to see that it's there. And what I'm going to do now is I am going to go test this. This is the last step according to my notepad that I made. Last step. So let's switch to that. So here we go. Alexa, ask lamp on. Alexa, ask lamp off. And as you can tell, just by saying the voice command, I was able to turn the LED on and off. Now, that LED right there can be switched out for a transistor or a relay. And you can use that instead to control a larger light source, light switch, or anything else, which will basically give you voice command for anything else in your house that you wanted to work. So this is the... All right. Thank you for watching my video. And if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments section. And also subscribe for future weekend project uh, tutorials.